Okay, so I have no idea how is this is going to go sound-wise because there's lots of wind. I hope it's going to be okay. Hey guys, so back on YouTube. I'm so happy to be doing this with my boy. Like always, we're going to try and work a little bit in hand. I'm going to lunge him before to get him warmed up and then we're going to do some handwork. So I wanted to talk to you today about thinking outside of the box. Whenever you have a goal, sometimes you cannot do like things the way you wanted to. Let's take for example my next goal that is to compete uh, on a freestyle. If you know about this, I I've already talked about it in the channel and also well I'm still not really riding it's like I started riding a little bit on the walk next like two weeks ago I've already trotted a little bit also but like not more than not even a minute at a time and so it's a little bit <laughs> slow for me but it's something that I have to do to be careful with my back just for those of you who don't know I broke my back my back like four months ago I have some fractures in my vertebra so yeah it's been some difficult months so anyways I have this goal to be on a freestyle so I, I asked myself what is it that I have to have to be able to attain the goal so of course there's a freestyle and everything but there's also this guy it's like he has to be ready for it and he has to be trained for it so the thing is that I cannot ride him I cannot train him my husband is doing such an excellent job in riding him and trying to keep him like in a good condition physical condition but still, it's like he's been doing lots of back work. So riding him low, round and low. But uh, for, for a freestyle test, for any dressage test, the horse has to be sitting a little bit more. Oh, on the haunches. Stop it. No, you're not eating. You're not eating. We're walking. <laughs> and so... Yeah, he has to be a little bit more on the haunches. So I asked myself, how can I do this? And the thing was that, of course, I could like find someone to ride him and pay this person, like a professional. And I thought, yeah, that's maybe a good idea. So I decided to combine the pleasure and the work. And we went with my husband, we went on vacation to the region of Bordeaux here in France and one of our friends like it's one of my very good friends and it was his jumping coach he has moved over there he moved like four months ago five months ago over there and so I told myself well let's bring let's bring Topo with us on vacations that way I can still be with him because I really miss him when I'm away and he will be working and we will be there and it would be like the perfect combination so just to tell you on this vlog that of course sometimes we wish that it would be easier like we have a goal we know what we have to do to achieve it we know the steps we have everything figured out and then something happens so it's not because it's become a little bit more difficult that you should stop everything altogether and that you should change what you wanted to do no I think that it's just an opportunity for you to get the brain working and ask yourself okay so what can I do to continue getting nearer my goal even if I cannot do like the simple and the easy way so yeah think outside of the box 
try and find solutions and the thing is that if you've done your work right and if you have prepared your goal and if you have if you know why you are doing what you are doing well I think that it will be easy for you to make some tough decisions when they have to be made. So this was a quick one for today. I just wanted to talk to you about this idea of thinking outside of the box and not letting go of your goals even if things get a little bit difficult. And yeah, I will be seeing you next video. Bye! Say bye baby! Bye! <laughs>